Hey guys, welcome back to a different type of vlog. I have been going back and forth, back and forth if I wanted to vlog this journey. Um, just simply because, you know, it's, it's just nerve-wracking. Um, and I feel like I'm keeping a secret from y'all. <laughs> Which I'm not going to tell you all during the process, so this video won't go up until prayers up until after everything is completed and all of that good stuff but I am applying for another airline um, and it's so bittersweet because you all know that JetBlue is or was or whatever it will be at this time that this uploads is so near and dear to my heart they gave me my first opportunity to be a flight attendant and I absolutely love this company with all of me. So you may be asking, so Alexia, why are you applying to a different airline? And it's simply because I just, you know, you, you have to find the airline that fits your lifestyle. And y'all know I'm all about my life by design. And <clears throat> I don't like New York one bit. And I don't want to go to any of the other bases that we have. And this other airline is just, it just suits me so much better as far as where I want to be and be able to balance, you know, personal life with work life. Um, I, I don't know if I should tell y'all the airline. Y'all are definitely going to figure it out because y'all are some smart cookies. Um, but this airline would hopefully allow me to be based in Houston at home, which means that I would be able to get a lot more active with my real estate, which is, I have missed it so much. As much as I love flying is just as much as I love real estate. And I haven't been able to really do that this entire year. And today's date is May 21st. And, you know, I've I put my license in inactive status at the beginning of the year so I haven't really been I haven't been able to sell you know I've still been doing some things with my mom and whatever but just me personally getting out there working and getting hands-on with buyers and stuff I haven't been able to do it and I truly missed it just as hard as I worked to become a flight attendant I worked just as hard to get my real estate license and get my business up and running um, and I don't want to throw all of that away so my goal is to be able to fly and sell real estate and be based at home i miss my dogs i love the city of houston i don't see myself just really ever living anywhere else a lot of people are like girl you're single this is the time of your life to move around and do what you want and go here and go there and i know and for some people that might be what they want to do but for me i don't i just i like to travel but i like to be able to go back home and houston is always going to be home for me Unless, you know, God plants a man in front of my face and say, go where he go. And then I'll do that. But right now, I don't have that. So, um, yeah. So, basically, I'm just going to vlog this journey and take y'all with me. Just so y'all can, one, see what the process is like. Because I didn't do this when I was applying for JetBlue. Um, and two, I just, I need to talk it out. I need to talk it out every step of the way. So anyways, I had my first portion of the interview today, my phone interview. I applied, what, when did they open their application? Uh, February, February 5th or something, I think they opened the application. It was open for like three days, two days or something. So I applied February 5th. And I just, con just got contacted like three weeks ago, not even through, like two weeks ago. Um, to set up a phone interview so today was my phone interview and I was nervous y'all like and I know I have these videos of how to pass this and how to do this but you still get nervous I'm still a human being I still get nervous because when you want something you know it, it it shakes you up a little bit so yeah I was I was nervous but I um I prepped like I show y'all how to prep in my videos I wrote all my answers down I read over them, you know, I made them flow naturally, blah, 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 <laughs> smiled. You know, phone interviews are different than the video interviews, but it's kind of all the same thing. You know, I smiled the entire time. I stood up and walked around while I was on the phone so it didn't sound like I was sitting down slouching because you sound different. You know, I just wanted my posture to be good so it could, 
you know, come through the phone as I would want it to present in person. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. So, now I'm just waiting to, um, hopefully, you know, she's she was telling me all my answers were great and all of this stuff. So, I took that as a good thing, but you never know. So, I'm just waiting now to either get a phone call saying, okay, we love you. We're going to move you on to the face-to-face. -face, or... A thanks but no thanks and if I get a thanks but no thanks that is okay too because I do like I said I, I, I love this company my name my um, JetBlue I love JetBlue so near and dear to my heart so that's that's okay too but I would really like this opportunity just to get my life where I feel like it should be so I will update y'all when I get updated but right now I'm gonna take a nap because I have a trip to Vegas tonight um, so yeah look forward to the next update so I completely forgot to update y'all it's been like a few days <laughs> today is the 24th I had my interview on the 22nd so the day that I had the phone interview, I think I told y'all I had the phone interview. The recruiter ended up calling me back later on that day and giving me the greatest news that I had passed the phone interview and that I would be getting scheduled for a face-to-face -face interview. But they have a lot of candidates waiting for their face-to-face -face interview, so she said it might take two to three months until I hear something from a recruiter to actual to actually schedule the interview so I'm just like woo but that's okay I'm not in any rush no rush at all it's the summertime my birthday is coming up I have lots of trips and things planned throughout July and the beginning of August so I really don't I whatever happens you know God has it all planned out I, you know, I trust I trust his timing on everything, but it would be really nice if nothing interferes with my trips, <laughs> with my vacations, honey. I gotta go see Beyonce in Paris. Um, so yeah, just wanted to give y'all that update. It's a lot harder to to remember to do these updates for this for this vlog because you know I'm just like. It's so far out in advance, you know, like, but whatever. But I'm going to try to keep updating every little step of the way. So, there y'all right, go. guys. I'm really bad at this updating for something that I'm not posting, like, soon. But I'm currently in Cuba, and I just remembered that last week, Thursday, June 7th, I got a call and then an email because they called me while I was flying just to let me know that I was still in the running for the process and that the waiting period might even be a little bit longer. Longer. So he said, I probably won't hear anything until about September to actually set up my next interview. So at least that, that's kind of good. At least I for sure know that it will not interrupt Beyonce next month. Um, and then whatever else that could possibly pop up between now and then. So, just wanted to give y'all that little nugget of information there. So, until the next update. Hey guys, hey guys, happy new year. So, I haven't updated this vlog because it's just been an ongoing vlog until something comes of it. Um, so, I just wanted to come in and say happy new year and just kind of give y'all an update of what's going on. And... <clears throat> Y'all probably be kind of shocked to hear this once I actually say it and then probably go back and watch <laughs> during this point of time. But right now, I am actually um, taking some time away from work um, unintentionally, but that is what is going on. So I've actually applied to another airline. I don't even know if I've said this in the other videos, but <clears throat> um, so almost a year ago now, today is January 3rd. Last year, February 5th, I applied to Southwest and it's now January 3rd. So their process, y'all, is so long. And it really just depends on like how you how you fall in there and when you applied and I guess the recruiter that is assigned to your application because two of the girls I was in initial training with 
at my um, current airline. They have moved on and went to Southwest, I think back in August. So their process went really quickly and I'm still waiting. And from what I know, me and them, we applied the same day and like within the same hour. So it's just crazy y'all. But I also went ahead and applied to two other airlines. Um, my goal is to be based back in Texas, either Dallas or Houston. So that's what's really going on and why I'm applying elsewhere. Cause my airline just, they will never open a base out here. It's just not gonna happen and home is where the heart is y'all. And then I'm going through this little situation right now. So it's probably best <laughs> for me to, you know, just kind of see what other options are out there. <clears throat> um, I don't wanna go into too much detail about it, but y'all are smart cookies. So yeah, I just wanted to give y'all that update of what's going on. I'm hoping that I can get scheduled for a face-to-face -face with Southwest um, by the end of this month, I would hope. You know, I kind of check their their Facebook groups with, for the people that have applied and, you know, just see where they're at in the process. <clears throat> and it still seems like people that had phone interviews in May, um, some have moved on to face-to-face -to -face and then some have not yet so i was kind of towards the end of may may 21st is when i had my phone interview um so i'm just holding on to hope y'all um but yeah i'm home in houston enjoying my time off a little stressful but i'm i'm trying to make the best of it and get things done and just accomplish some more goals and just move forward with life and you know yeah that's really about it, but I just figured that I should come on here and update y'all and add this to the video and then maybe one day y'all actually get to see this whole process and how it played out. <laughs> so let me tell y'all the power of God, right? So I think I just told y'all that I was taking a unexpected break from work and now that has turned into me and my company going separate ways. Life happens. But... I just got some really good news. Um, I finally got my scheduled face-to-face -face interview. Finally. So it's been since, what, May of last year, 2018, and now today is January 14th, and they're just now scheduling my face-to-face. -face. So I'm very excited. Like, God is good, y'all. He's good. You just gotta stay faithful. <laughs> so that's update. Good morning, I'll let y'all so today is the day. I am here for my interview. It is January 30th. Um, I just ordered some breakfast. It's 8 a.m. What time is it? Let me tell you what time it is. Okay, it's 8.48. I just ordered some breakfast. The interview is at 11, and I'm like 10 minutes away from where the interview is. So I just ordered some breakfast. I'm going to hop in the shower, do my face. Hopefully by that time the breakfast is here and then head on over there. You know, the earlier the better. The email says don't get there too early, but I'm gonna be there early. Y'all know what happened in the past. We don't have no time, no replays for that, okay? <laughs> so, see y'all later. All right, y'all, I just wanted to give you an up close look of the interview beat face. Tried to keep it nice and natural, but still full coverage, cover up the blemishes. Got my red lip. Pearl earrings, pearl necklace, watch, and that's it, y'all. Okay, let me hold on. And the bracelets. Um, I might take these off though. I probably will take these off. Yeah, I like it better without the bracelets. And then this is it. I just have on black pants, a black turtleneck shirt under here, and this little blazer coat. Yeah, I kept it simple. I can see you don't mind the bathroom. <laughs> So y'all can see full. I have on stockings, black heels, and that's it. Suits are boring to me, so I never wear suits, but I still try to keep it as business professional as possible. Well, that's a wrap, folks. I just finished the interview. I feel like it went excellent. The recruiters that interviewed me, or the one recruiter and the flight attendant, it was good, very conversational, not really interview-ish, so I feel positive. I'm about to find me something to eat and go right on back home to Houston.
Hey guys. So it has been quite a minute since I've updated this vlog. So I think the last time I vlogged about this process was back in January and I was just so excited and positive and things did not end up going my way. And to be honest y'all, it has been quite um, a struggle <laughs> trying to uh, get back into this aviation world. It's not easy, like it's not easy at all. So long story short, I just got to a point where I was just like, okay, you know, like life is happening. I don't really understand it. God is making moves that me and him are not on the same page about, but um, just go with it. So it wasn't a, a give up attitude, but it was just a attitude or mentality of let's just see what else is in store for life and just kind of go with it. So I have been doing, like I got my real estate license back active. I signed up with a whole nother broker. Like all of that is good. I was feeling really, really good about that, right? And then the airline that I applied to months ago, months ago but yes, months ago, you know, they, they move at their own pace. So they finally sent me the invitation to do a face to face. I did it today and I got a CJL. No, honestly I still feel really indifferent about it I can't even say like I was just super excited I just feel indifferent <laughs> but we'll see where it goes from there guys we'll see but I figured let me just come on here update y'all what's been going on and then if I decide to post this video y'all will know all the details hey guys so I'm really just testing out this camera that I got. I finally got a vlogging camera, y'all. Can you believe it? So iPhone, she'll get a little rest from all the vlogging. But I really never updated y'all. I've just been living my best life, keeping all my meanness to myself, not sharing it with the world, which is so nice for a little period of time. When it comes to vlogging and the type of person that I am and how much I share with y'all it becomes a little overwhelming with all of the questions and people wanting to know you know Alexa what are you doing are you gonna go back to flying blah 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 this you know y'all want me in the air and I get it that's how you met me that's how you like me um but sometimes it's just like can you just let me figure out my life and then when I figure it out, I'll share what I decide to share with y'all. You know, I can't really, I mean, I guess I could share in the moment, but it's just not a comfortable thing for me to do to share in the moment, especially when I don't know exactly what my next step is or what I'm doing or anything like that. So anyways, I think the last time I opened up this camera was after my interview in, was it in April? What month is this? This is May. So yeah, April. I did an interview and I think I told y'all I got a CJL. And I was supposed to be going to training um, at the beginning of May. May 7th I think the training date was. Um, and I had got the CJL literally like two weeks prior to that. Um, so long story short, they my compliance, background check, all of that stuff didn't clear in time. It literally cleared like one day after like the, the finalization date for that next class that was coming up. So technically I should have been in training right now, but I'm not. Um, so they offered me to go to the next upcoming training class, which starts June 4th. But I've decided to push it back until July which I really didn't want to do. You know, I would rather get in this thing and get it popping back early. But, um, why not? I, I just had a lot going on this month. Um, I've been planning a bachelorette party that is this weekend, Memorial Day weekend. 
um my cousin's baby shower is june second on my birthday so those two things i would have willingly missed to go to training and i would have been fine with it uh, well not really fine with it but i would have made that sad sacrifice but if i start the june 4th class um, the wedding that I'm actually in as a bridesmaid is June 22nd so I would have to miss the wedding and I just would not feel good actually missing the, the whole wedding like the festivities fine but the wedding itself like no I don't want to do that this is my friend since middle school I definitely don't want to miss her wedding and I'm in her wedding um, so because of that I decided to um, just go to training in July which you know like I've preached in all my previous videos that just gives you an opportunity to save a lot more coin because this tr this um, company does not pay you during training so that's one thing there will be no funds coming in so I need to make sure that I have my you know all my bills paid up at you know at least two three months in advance and just all of that good stuff so I will get back to vlogging. I still have not decided if I'm actually going to tr um, vlog my training process like I did with um, JetBlue. I don't. I just don't know. Like, I just feel so indifferent about just life right now. Like, so much has happened within. It's almost six months. In, um, almost at or almost at June. So, so much has just happened within the first half of this year that I'm just like, okay, Alexa. Do you even really still want to fly? Like, honestly, that's how I feel, y'all. But I know that I love it. I just, I guess just because I've been out of it for so long and things didn't um, work out the way that I had it in my brain working out. So it's just kind of changed my mindset on a lot of things. But I do want to get back to flying. And I'm pretty sure once I actually get back to flying, I'll get back to that, that, that normal me. I guess you know I don't know if it's a normal me but I'll just be I'll probably just sound way more excited about it than I probably do right now just to be honest <laughs> that's just the honest truth but anyways y'all I need to um go put some clothes on because I literally was just kind of how sometimes I worked out this morning I'm doing my one mile a day and then you know sometimes you just take a shower and you just really don't feel like doing all the next steps so that's just what I was doing and I just got this camera so I was like let me just pull it out and see what I can do with it. Um, but anyways that is a mild update for y'all. Um, see y'all on the next mild update. Bye! <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> this is going to be the last update for this portion of the video. Why? Because yesterday I graduated training and i'm about to be back flying and i know y'all are happy because y'all have left me 200 comments on instagram and a whole gang of messages that <sighs> it's very sweet and i truly 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 appreciate all the love and congratulatory messages and likes and whatever but it's overwhelming it, it really is um <laughs> It's just, it feels good to know that I've been missed, you know. Um, anyways, what did I want to tell y'all? Oh, so I literally just watched the video that y'all just watched. This, this, the first portion before this, from back from when I applied to now. I just watched it and it's just like, oh my gosh. It's been that long since I started the process of wanting to change airlines and then you know hit a huge bump in the road um but now just watching it i'm really glad that i vlogged this process because becoming a flight attendant or just getting into aviation it's not easy and for whatever people always think that you know oh like once you do it you know you can get back into it it's easy and it's not so I just want this to be a true testimony to anybody out there that has been trying to become a flight attendant or even if it's not being a flight attendant, whatever it is that you're out there working hard and you feel like you're busting your butt and you keep hitting these roadblocks, just keep pushing. Like, keep pushing. I'm human. We're all human. We have our moments. Um, 
it might not pan out to be exactly what you want but just let god write your story like just and follow it you know just let him do it so even like right now at this point you know i just graduated and i'm thinking and i'm already thinking okay what's next that's just how my brain works but i know i need to slow down and just enjoy it and see what god gives me out of this situation it wasn't what i wanted ideally but clearly it's what i need because this is where he has me so that's all i just really wanted to say thank you all for watching um thank you for being respectful to my journey and not asking 10 million questions about things that i did not elaborate on um <laughs> because i choose not to like and that is just that's my decision and i know i have a lot of messages wanting to know you know a lot about what happened here and what you know why you did this and why that and da, 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 da. but um my youtube is mine and i share what i choose to share um and y'all just have to live with that part of it you know and i feel like i share a lot a lot y'all so but thank y'all for riding with me this this whole time it's been two years while i was in training my two-year mark hit of earning my wings back in July of 2017. So this little two-year journey has been interesting. So let's keep moving forward. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe. Go share this with your friends. Um, whoever you know is just interested in watching a true journey of life you know life by design and let's just keep moving forward okay subscribe like and share and yes I vlogged my training so you can look forward to those videos coming up soon all right bye